Welcome back to Restore Thrive. We're asking the question, are you ready to run? Standard number seven for our runners is hip extension. Why is hip extension important? Because as we stride, if I can't extend through my hip, I extend through my back. And when I extend through my back, I'm in a bone on bone position. And when we talk about running for a lifetime, we talk about running with good efficiency. And what that does is that preserves our joints and our tissues. So good hip extension allows you to drive more efficiently through your hip, produce more power, and spare your joints the extra wear and tear they'd experience if you don't have full hip extension. What's our hip extension test? It's simple. It's what we call the couch stretch. So all you need here is a couch, a box, a chair, something you can get on the ground and get your feet up against. So we're going to start in a hands and knees position. Position number one is knee up, shin up against that box or couch. Position number two is front leg out in front, foot's under your knee, shin is vertical. You can see my hand's still on the ground, my hip's still leaning forward a little bit. There's a little gap between my butt in my heel. If you have full hip extension through your hip, we should be able to get into position number three, which is trunk upright, knees still under the hip, and we're able to hold this position and breathe for a full minute. Now, a lot of times what we'll find is people get in this position, if they don't have good hip range of motion, they arch through their back to try to work around that limit in their hip, or you see the knee start to scoot away from the box when they get up into that position. Either one of those is a sign that you're missing some of that extension through the hip. And so we're gonna show you a simple way, if you can't get into a couch stretch position on the couch or on the box, to open up that in range hip extension. We're gonna use one of our monster bands here. This is just a simple jump stretch band. And I'm going to put that band up around the back of my hip, right under my butt. From here, I'm gonna get down into a half kneel position. I'm gonna lean back a little bit to make sure that my hip's over my knee and I can stabilize my midsection. Because again, when I'm in this position and I start to extend through my hip, I don't wanna arch through my back. So I've gotta keep my abs on and I've gotta squeeze my butt as I start to lean forward and put that hip end to end range. And what you'll find here is this is a little more comfortable if that couch stretch position doesn't feel good for you. And you can simply glide into that position, squeeze your butt, come back, reorganize, glide forward, squeeze your butt, come back, reorganize. 15 to 20 reps will help open that hip and restore that normal hip extension that you need. If you find that these mobilizations are hard for you to do or you have more questions about how to really open up your hips and run more efficiently, you can find us online at RestoreThrive.com.